Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in, Alessandro the Crypto here, I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another episode, in today's video we're gonna analyze as usual the Bitcoin price, we're also gonna have a look into Ethereum and at the end also into the DXY and Nasdaq. So we have very big announcements to do my friends because currently Bybit is giving out a very special and unique $1,000 of bonus out if you are a new member of Bybit. So you can open up a new account and put a deposit up to two Bitcoin to get $1,000 in bonus. So you can do some free trades with it. And also in addition to that, you will get a $10 coupon as well so make sure that you claim this special bonus that bybit is offering to you you just have to use my refer link that you find down below here in the video description and of course then also you can claim these 100 dollars that you anyway get through the rewards hub and next to that bybit is also doing a so-called balance booster that just means that all your funds that are on bybit and not in a trade are getting paid by interest with an API of up to 15%. So make sure that you're joining this program because like that all your funds that you're keeping on Bybit will get paid daily with interest and 15% is quite a lot my friends. So make sure that you put here your deposit in Bitcoin and Tether like this you also can gain some passive money. And another important announcement is over on Binance they are currently adding the Bitscap trading bot which is very profitable. I also did a tutorial about this trading bot. You can find it at the end of this video. It's popping up somewhere so make sure that you're watching that tutorial because here I explain you how to set up a trading bot. Like this you can make very easy some passive money with only connecting your exchanges to Bitscap and right now Binance is adding this into their futures contracts. So if you're trading with futures over on Binance then make sure to sign up to Binance with my link that you also find down below here in the video description and then get also this 14 days completely for free program over on Bitscap where you can use those trading bots for 14 days completely for free and afterwards if it's paying out for you you can do a monthly plan which is starting from only $19 a month which usually you can get it back very very quickly. So go and sign up to Binance and also Bitscap if you want to try out those trading bots and like this also do some very nice passive money next to your own trade of course and now my friends let's start straight here into the content because Bitcoin is still struggling here to push higher back above 60k I also told you in yesterday's video that we shouldn't drop below this last low that we had here of around $53,000 and as you can see Bitcoin came exactly down to this low and for now we are bouncing and it looks like here in the one hour time frame that we're forming this potential falling wedge and the break out to the upside would take us to the beginning of this wedge right here at around $57,800 and like that we potentially could form here a double bottom formation which will take us at least up here towards our new potential resistance here of around $59,000 and if this one is getting broken the chances are very high that we're coming up again towards $62,000 and then we're gonna see if we are able to consolidate above 60k again above our new new potential support then or if we're gonna continue our crash down towards our bearish targets. So the lower time frames right now are suggesting that we could see here a potential bounce and an attempt to test here this resistance here at around 59k and then move on towards $62,000. Why I still think that we could easily reach $62,000 very soon is also because of the CME gaps that right now we still have up here at $62,000 and with this drop down to $53,000 that we have seen yesterday also here in the CME chart you can see that right now we have closed also this CME gap down here at $54,000 so the closest CME gap that we have right now is this one up here at around 62k and that's why I think that the next move potentially will take us up here to close this gap and then we're gonna see if this was just a gap filling and we will head again towards lower levels or if this is going to be a valid pump and we start again to consolidate in this 60k 
area. So the next step of Bitcoin in my opinion will be to the upside even though we are looking a bit concerning here because also here in the CME chart we are breaking below this support here that in the last couple of days and weeks acted as a very strong support. So right now we are also here below this important support and even though we could see here a short term pump towards $62,000 the important thing is that we are also able to start to close 4 hour and daily candles above this support again otherwise this could be just resulting in a gap filling and we will continue towards our bearish targets and therefore let's go again back into the spot chart and open up the daily time frame because here you can see again that we are potentially losing important supports not only this trend line here but also the 50 daily moving average so right now we are trading below the 50 daily moving average and even though we could see here a pump above and go and retest here the 20 and 9 daily moving average between 59 to 60 thousand dollars this could be also just a retest of the new resistance here and afterwards if here we are getting rejected we could continue our fall towards our bearish targets which here in the daily time frame could be even down here at the 200 daily moving average at $34,000 of course I told you my friends that if we're gonna see such a correction during our bull market take it as a good buy opportunity for the long term because even if we would fall down towards the 200 daily moving average we would still remain in our bull market and we are still far away from from a cycle top as I told you in many videos already I think that the cycle top will not come before the end of this year and that's why until then there is a very high chance that sooner or later we are also coming down to test important moving averages like here the 200 daily moving average at $34,000 and that in my opinion is the worst case scenario this is where I would go all in again and the other important support that we could find here if we're gonna see a major sell-off is here the 20 weekly moving average right at $44,000 which in my opinion is also very likely to get tested if this week we're gonna close below the nine weekly moving average which currently is here at $55,500 so even though we could see for now a short term pump again to retest here the 60k area if this week we are closing below the nine weekly moving average I think we're gonna see for sure continuation to the downside and the 20 weekly moving average here right at 40 4k would be the first potential big support where the bulls most likely are kicking in and here we could see a potential bottom at least for now and if the 20 weekly would fail then watch out for the 200 daily moving average so this is my worst case scenario if this dump is going to continue but at least here for the short term I think we're gonna see a breather to the upside and go up here to retest the 60k area so if you are planning to take out some cash to be ready for the bearish scenario then wait until this pump is over and we're gonna fill this gap at $62,000 and if then we are not able to create a support above 60k again then I think it's not a bad idea to take a little bit of cash out just to be ready that if we're gonna dump towards our bearish targets that you can buy that dip because for the long term anyway Bitcoin will go towards higher levels but I definitely wouldn't sell everything my friends because if Bitcoin successfully is recovering again above 60k and continues to weigh higher levels you could potentially miss out on the biggest gains of your life so that's why make only sure that you have some cash on the sideline for the bearish scenario but otherwise for the long term you can be sure that Bitcoin will go to way higher levels and this $65,000 for now was not the cycle top maybe it was a local top but for sure not our cycle top. So for now the lower time frames are suggesting that we could see here a breather to the upside and then once that gap is filled at 62k let's see what happens after but right now I think the chances are very high that we could go up to fight the 60k area and then hopefully start again to create a support above and in the one hour time frame you can see that right now we could see here a breakout to the upside from this potential falling wedge if we are able to start to close now one hour candles above $55,650 then we should be good to go here for a retest up here at around 60k and then we're gonna see what will happen 
and now we can switch over to ethereum because ethereum currently is forming this potential descending triangle which is a bearish pattern but also here if ethereum is able to start to close one hour or even better four hour candles above two thousand two hundred dollars i'm pretty confident that this bearish pattern is denied and we will also here head towards our old all time high here of around two thousand five hundred dollars but if we are not able to break out here to the upside from this falling resistance here then the likelihood of breaking out to the downside is way higher here and in that case i would target prices again below two thousand dollars so also here on ethereum we are in a very critical point but if we are able to recover above two thousand two hundred dollars and start to consolidate above because also here the lower time frames are suggesting that we could see very soon a nice breather to the upside then i think we are out of the woods and we can head towards new levels also here on ethereum and everything is going to be as usual depending from bitcoin but the lower time frames here on ethereum are looking like that we are in for a big move here to the upside or to the downside it's going to be depending where we're going to close the next couple of four hour candles above the resistance or below the support that we currently have here of 2040 dollars so since here in the lower time frames we could see a big move incoming let's also check and compare the dxy now because here as you can see we are getting a little bounce right at the 100 daily moving average so if here we're going to continue to fall lower then i think we could see a very nice and big move to the upside in the crypto space but if here in the dxy we could see a big bounce to the upside from this important moving average then this could be a big warning sign because if the DXY xy starts to pump again even just up here to go and retest the 200 daily moving average at 92 dollars this of course could lead into a major correction in the crypto and stock market so let's hope that here the dxy continues to fall because the next support is down here at around 90 dollars that will be in favor for a continuation to the upside in the crypto and stock market but if here we're going to see a bounce to the upside in the next coming days that could be quite dangerous for us and if we go now over to nasdaq you can see that also nasdaq here had a pullback right now we are dropping below the nine daily moving average so this sell signal that we got here is legit for now because if today we're going to close below the nine daily moving average i'm pretty confident that we will go down here to test the 20 daily moving average at thirteen thousand five hundred dollar and here we should get another bounce to the upside i'm still very bullish for nasdaq but it looks like that also here we are in for a correction at least down towards the 20 daily moving average right at thirteen thousand five hundred dollar and the important thing is that we are not dropping again below the 20 daily moving average because in that case we could have a major correction but uh, everything is still looking Looking good even though we are getting right now a pullback here so we are in a very critical point my friends if you are too overexposed into an asset then maybe think about to diversify also into some other assets or into some cash just to be ready for the bearish scenario because currently we are breaking some important supports that we never have broken so far during our bull market since march of 2020 so that's why if you want to feel comfortable then make sure that you're ready also for the bearish scenario because if things are starting to go the other way around if we are getting a huge correction then you should be fine with some cash on the sideline because like that you are flexible also to buy the dip and like this of course accumulate also more bitcoin because at the end the goal is always to accumulate more bitcoin because everyone knows that bitcoin will head towards way higher levels that we are seeing right now but if you have no cash on the sideline it's never a bad idea to take a little bit of cash out just to be flexible if the bearish scenario is coming that you're ready to buy the dip so with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now a big shout out also to our crypto trading chat over on discord if you want to join our great crypto trading chat then make sure to join it by clicking the invitation link that you find in the description after you have clicked on this link you have to go here to read first and click on this thumbs up button to confirm that you're a human and not a bot and this is also the place where you can get access to my own indicator which is giving you buy and sell signals for bitcoin so if you're trading with leverage over on bybit then make sure to use my indicator like this it's way more easier 
and otherwise just try out the Bitscap trading bots because they are very profitable. Of course, the gains are not that high as you would do with leverage over on Bybit or Femex, but like this, you can also do some passive money without doing anything. So definitely go and take this advantage because Bitscap is giving to our community 14 days completely for free for the pro plan. And afterwards, if it's paying out for you, you can upgrade to the monthly plan starting from $19. So if you like the content, my friends, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel. I do daily TA videos and we're going to see us all in the next one. Bye.